What's up, and welcome to episode two of NCP, the No Consolation podcast, where we go over everything happening in the No Consolation League and pretty much everything else we want to talk about in the entire world. Uh, my name is Austin, pictured right there. I'm joined here by my friends Freddie, Shell, and Danny. How are you boys doing tonight? Overall, feeling pretty good. A uh, little, little tired from you know the day's activities. You know, most of the boys went to a PLL championship game today, but overall, excited to get the podcast going to figure out what you know our next event will be and kind of go over our previous event a little. Should be fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to whatever's going on next. I'm really happy that we got to go to that lacrosse game today. Because my team won. Let's go. Let's go. Shout out to the Chrome. Let's go. Um, so, but I'm excited to do this podcast. I think um, it's going to be fun. Um, I, I like Danny. I am also massively tired. Long week. <laughs> Long week. Uh, uh, but the game. I didn't. Was, I didn't quite uh, say I, massively. I, right. I just said a little tired. All right. right? I, all right. I'm massively <laughs> tired. I, I'm actually yeah, he, he was I've been driving absolutely, all over the place. He was absolutely slumped in the back of Hamilton's car <laughs> on the way back home to the point where oh, yeah. Hamilton took some turns pretty fast and Hamilton's or Freddie's head hit the window. And uh <laughs> he did not wake up. It was pretty hard too. I had to turn around and look and the kid was still sleeping. He's kinda like this. He's like Yeah, that's that's <laughs> <how it is. laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what I was like. <laughs> Am I talking my sleep or, do, or snore or anything? Or are they just like silent? No, no it was silent, silent but your, your head was swinging around. I was like, oh my gosh. Freddie, how much sleep did you get last night? Not a lot. Like, how, like ball, ballpark? Oh, that's how he was sleeping. <laughs> beard shot. He's got the beard shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. The scruff. The scruff. <laughs> um... I'm in a ballpark at maybe five. Yeah, not terrible. Not not not, 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 not great. Not great. Could be worse though. I don't know. I was I've been up since so. Last night, right as I was about to fall asleep, Clover started spontaneously barking, and if that like happens to me, like as I'm like nodding off, it's just like I am up and like I am absolutely wired for like the next three hours, and so I was at like midnight. And so I, like, played Rocket League with Colin and was just trying to, like, wait till my body, you know, begin to, like, settle down again. I'm like, okay, 3 o'clock, going back to sleep, start to nod off. He just starts doing it again. Has been silent for the past three hours. He just, le- he literally just wants to torture me. That's, that's all, that, that, that's his MO. That's, that's what Clover's here for. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure Austin doesn't actually sleep. No, he's, he's a little gremlin, I swear. He's a cute gremlin, but he's a little gremlin. <laughs> he's an adorable gremlin. Um, but we'll get started into the run of show. Uh, we're going to kick things off with a little, little bit of a cliffhanger from the last episode. I don't know if anyone remembers, we were trying to solve a mystery of um, whether or not Shell was the person next to me in the picture of the Little Mermaid. Shell had said that he uh, believed based off the person's height and build that that, that could be him. And so I did some digging, and we also, you know, checked in with the investigative journalist or PI that we hired last time, and they got us back yeah. some raw data. So I'm going to pull up the footage. Um, y'all might be on a little bit of a delay, but anyway. I can pull it up, too. Oh, uh, true. you want me to pull up the picture? Uh, uh, just, just, just pull up the stream. It, it'll, it'll come on in like a second or two. It's, a, it's going to be a still image. So. Um, okay. But we were, we were analyzing the elbow on my right. And that was the uh, the person in question. We did not even notice <laughs> to the left the small figure that actually is Shell. Shell was in fact that tiny little head. Let me see if I can I, focus in I a little bit. That, <laughs> I figured that was just the arm of the other guy. I don't know <laughs> why. It just seemed like that was his arm. But, you know, you look closer and he doesn't have two arms. <laughs> I, I literally did not even notice that whatsoever. <laughs> my my blocking out of Shell in that picture was so much worse than I ever even imagined. <laughs> Only overall, arm. <laughs> so overall, Shell, you lied to us. You lied no. to us. Shell. How dare you slander my name, Freddie? How, <laughs> how dare you? 
I'm not slandering your I'm not slandering your name at all. You had us go out and hire the private investigator based off a lie you told, Shell. A lie I told we he did his job, all right? The private investigator It was job. speculation. It was speculation, right? Shell was not giving us a concrete fact that that was him. All right. I I'll defend Shell here. That was no lie. I argue he, he was he was so he was so forthright about that being him and convincing us so much that we had to hire that person, that private investigator. I, I, I say he did think it was, and he made us hire the private investigator anyway and waste all that money. Great okay, point, Freddy. I talking about that. Oh, no, go on. Great point, Freddy. Oh. And I will be taking you to court not only for defamation of character, which I will pile the charges up. We have a lot of listeners here. And, um, that kind of insult in the public eye is worth millions, let alone I will be taking you to court for the costs of the private investigator. So, shall expect right. a subpoena. Be, you'll, you'll be hearing from my attorneys, because I, was definitely, from- I said that arm in the background could possibly be me. And who was saying I was talking about that other arm? That we were talking about, pre- that you guys thought I was talking about. So wait, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna, you're gonna counter, you're gonna counter sue me for the lawsuit. (laughs) (laughs) Your your attorneys are gonna get in contact with me for the lawsuit I haven't even issued yet. I think we might have to take this to Minecraft court. (laughs) Jill, Jill, here's what'll happen. You and me both contact our. What an official place. (laughs) The most official. My lawyer, my lawyer will contact you, and you know who it is. Hamilton. <laughs> Clover. Clover's my lawyer. Put him in a little suit. He'd do great. Damn. <laughs> He's doing some. She's doing some investigation on it. On, in Austin's actually house. making sure He's Austin undercover. can't sleep so that Austin can't have a good case against Shell. <laughs> it's, it's, exactly. it's working. If he's sleep it's deprived, working. he can't have a good case. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway, that was one of the, I don't know, I don't think anyone was here, but for our cursed podcast last week, where we went live probably about three times because OBS kept crashing. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the part the part of the podcast where we what? gave up is actually where we're going to try and go to next. <laughs> it did? I don't but, remember that at all. But that would be going over our incredible Fall Guys event, you know, the Big Fall, friendly renamed the Big Fail uh, for... Obvious reasons, partially our fault, partially not. Um, Fall Guys turns out has a horrible platform for custom games, which is how we do everything. Uh, so yeah, it was it goes our future sponsorship deal. Yeah, Epic Games is pulling out. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking we can maybe get a, our own creator code and stuff in Fortnite, but now that there that goes. Yeah, but the event. Um, Am I twelve year olds play Fortnite? At least three. Well, Freddie, you play Fortnite. Yeah, so but that's the next one. That's I at play, least one. but I don't care about it like the kids do. <laughs> mm, cool. But there's a, that makes at least one twelve-year-old in Fortnite. You mean at least one, at least twelve-year-old playing Fortnite? Yeah, that 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 is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I'm at that. Yeah, all right, let's be honest. There's me. There's there's that there's that kid. And then the rest are bots. That that, that, that is actually true. <laughs> Who's that kid? <laughs> Elaborate. The, uh, yeah, who's the, that the, kid? Twelve-year-old one. Is he really oh, to boys? <laughs> <laughs> I guess there's the twelve-year-old kid. <laughs> whatever, Austin, about him. whatever Austin <laughs> said. Can we can we whatever get him on the podcast? Like, <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, bring get him. Out. him. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to have that. That twelve-year-old kid who plays Fortnite on the podcast next week. He's got an official like. Is that a pronoun? What's what's the word that? I don't know. It's not a pronoun. What type of what type of word is that? Uh, I do not know. Preposition. That is definitely not the thing. <laughs> that one is a little. I don't off. do English. All right, <laughs> English isn't my language. We we'll use it as even a, it is a, a determiner. <laughs> A demonstrative, yeah. a demonstrative pronoun and a relative pronoun. Makes sense. So that well, that was a well, here's, here's, your, here's your lesson for the day. <laughs> yes. English English lesson from the podcast for the day. Tune in next week. <laughs> Reoccurring <laughs> segment. <laughs> hey, I'm down. But, I'll remember it. 
uh, the, the the big fail. Uh, there, there were there were some fun moments, but overall, I'd say it was a semi semi rough experience. Danny, what was that like for you? Because you were <laughs> the primary person running logistics, trying to get everyone in the lobby, and there was there was yeah, a lot of stuff you couldn't a, do. There. That was interesting. I mean, first off, it's just such a terrible system uh, in the terms of the fact that like everyone didn't load in every time. And I'd, I'd, I'd wager that 40% of the time we tried to get into a Gabe, someone just did not load in. Freddy was one of them. Jacob was having some troubles. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, in that aspect, it was not the best. Uh, and a lot of people were getting, uh, a little upset by that. And, you know, the tensions kind of rose. And then at that point, uh, people wanted to play specific maps and not other ones. And half the time they were asking me for maps I didn't have access to. So it, it, it was a little rough. But, you know, when we were in games, it was a fun time. Everyone was enjoying themselves out of the games in the lobbies, a little hectic. Uh, but I mean, overall from the producer's side, I mean, you guys were <laughs> kind of stuck waiting for everything as I was trying to set it up. I mean, how was the, <laughs> how was trying to just wait through that? <laughs> Fred, you want to take that one? <laughs> Uh, just, just messy. Uh, uh, we were try, we were, because we didn't know what was going on, and I was, I because I was tr playing and casting at the same time and having trouble with it. I was just trying to do whatever I could to keep conversations and bits going and all the material, but, but yeah, we were just. Terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it was it, it was pretty rough. Um, plus, like we there there were so many issues, and like in order to sort of talk about those, I got to go in the player Discord. But I'm not in the player Discord all the time, so we don't know what's happening. So there were some disconnects between like what y'all had decided what to do, and what we had decided what to do, which you know we probably should have ironed out more in the format. But there were things that were happening that we did not anticipate that were pretty unprecedented. Um, so yeah, but we did. Uh, we 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 have pulled some highlights. From oh, that, yeah. from from that wonderful stream, I am uh, so, so we can we can we can sort of go through the story of of what was the big fail. Um, so, <laughs> Shell, you want to pull pull oh, up your screen? We go into the clip. It's gonna be so good. All right, so we got the first one here. Let's run it. Give me just one second. Oh, wait, right, let me know. Let me know when y'all are ready. All right. So yeah. for 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 a little bit of context, um, the way we were going to try and spectate because Fall Guys doesn't have a spectator thing is we were going to try and kill ourselves <laughs> so that way yeah, you would just awesome, you would just watch them. <laughs> so Freddie and I were trying trying to cast this game, um, and we were trying try, trying our best to get off the map. We had, we had not tested every single map, unfortunately. Uh, so Shell, if you want to go ahead and run, <laughs> we were unaware of what was about to happen. <laughs> Yeah, this was, <laughs> we, uh, okay. I, think, I think the funniest part about it was when, right as we entered the map, we saw the little things on the oh, side no. and said, oh, he won't be able to kill himself. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, it's not working. Yeah, the play button's not quite going. It's good, smooth. Open it with the video thing. Yeah, but. I'm going to trust Shell to fix technology things. <laughs> if they're not, <laughs> what is this? What I is what? Know. That is he's that. Com <laughs> he's computer guy. He's, he's Shell, enter, enter what the matrix. <laughs> download it. We don't know what it means. I'll download it. Download it. <laughs> that is a terrible UI. <laughs> God, I I love NCP. <laughs> it's so good. Quick, copy his password, everyone. Allow. You didn't even show me. I don't all, even know what this is. All the listeners at home murder. copy Shell. Yeah, I think password. you can download it, Shell. Download it. I so I'm gonna figure it. out your password by counting the, the number of oh, little stars that were there. Server to download. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna dox all of Shell's information. <laughs> oh, it's zipping it up, dude. It. No, not oh, the zip. No. <laughs> Are you just trying to play a video on Chrome? <laughs> yeah, why not, man? All right. 
<laughs> download. There's a lot of this lot of space, man. Download the movie. I don't want to. A lot of space. <laughs> try closing <laughs> Chrome. <laughs> God's up to another great start. <laughs> well, I guess I could explain my experience of the. <laughs> good segue. Uh, good segue. While, while we're going through this, because I was just kind of in the middle of all this. So first of all, I didn't have. I wasn't in my normal setup. So I was all over the place there. Um, but I, when we were in the games and stuff, like, I enjoyed it for the most part, but it was hard to, like, do anything because nothing was, you know, set in stone and things kept changing and I was just very confused the whole time. I was just kind of playing and I was like, all right, let's hope this works. And so that's kind of how I felt or my experience of it. But here we go. I don't know. It's probably not in order either. Love this. Oh, yeah. Not gonna Man, open in this moment, style. The moment of truth. <laughs> it plays. <laughs> I, you gotta will it. <laughs> you gotta will it. You gotta <laughs> not play it on Google, Google Chrome browser. <laughs> but I can't open it anywhere else because of the type of file it is. Oh. Interesting. Like, that's Interesting. The, I, I think it might work online. I think I got, I think I can do it for whatever reason. I don't know about that. But I have the file downloaded. Awesome. What do you normally run it on? What do you mean? Or what do you normally run these videos on? I usually just, just play them on Chrome. Um, let me see if it's working for me. Let me refresh the page. I think I can do it too. Yeah. I'll try it. Refreshing good. Hopefully. Usually good. Oh my gosh. Wait, it's <laughs> it working. We got it. Okay. We got good. it. You guys might not be on audio page. though. Re- restart it, Shell. Go to the beginning. You're gonna actually. Okay. You might not hear my audio. Can you hear the audio though? Through it? Well, we haven't started playing yet, so we'll see. Yeah, there, there's Let's still the slight delay, so. I don't hear it, yeah. This is great. Yeah, I don't think we'll, we'll be able to hear the audio. <laughs> this is, this is, this is great. All right, this well, is just... very representative of what the big fail was. Yeah. <laughs> this, the, kind of this experience in the nutshell. You know, everything like worked kind of like seemed to work beforehand. Everything like we felt pretty good going into it and then. It was just a, the big fail. <laughs> I think that's kind of. <laughs> Might be a rebrand opportunity for the entire podcast slash production. <laughs> <laughs> we might just be TBF from now on. <laughs> the big fail. But I mean, there was a lot of stuff we we that the big fail helped us learn in terms of you know we did feel good coming in like the it didn't seem like a terrible custom system like we were able to get people in games we were able to play like maps we wanted just in practice it wasn't as good as we thought it was uh when it came down to it and you know that that was that was a learning point you know we we definitely will vet custom games better next time as we go through for our next events yeah for sure and we were like maybe we'll run into a problem like once every couple games and it'll be fine rather than like the entire thing be a problem um we don't we don't need audio for all the clips show we can just kind of go through what's happening too That'll that'll work fine. Yeah, just knowing that first one, Austin and I are freaking out. I think I, I think I figured it out. But yeah, all right, we're, we're going to go back to the clip. We will see if you guys can hear the audio now. Yes, sir. Really. No. I do not. No, okay. It, it we'll is, just run it without cool. it. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think we're just, I think it's just, uh, it's just good. Austin and I are just saying to each other, why can't we die? <laughs> this is, <insane>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was not, I think this was probably the only map where that could have happened. Mm hmm. Look, look at this uh, movement. Because all the other, clean. this is the only, like, true race that was in the map. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which was let's, was definitely unforeseen. Let's let, let's let's see what the next one we got is. Shell, can you pull up the next one? Yeah. 
See if I can get. If I know correctly, I it. Oh wait, no, it's not. It's and not the. Can you full screen it? Oh, let's go. Oh wait! Oh, wait, it's the it's the oh it's the Eric one. Oh, uh, this was the, the photo finish. <laughs> oh, the, the photo, photo finish. That's right. Finish. Look, Dan, can you finish. explain this one? Because Austin and I were commentating for this, and we didn't know what was going on. Yeah, this one was crazy because uh, in the group of people that was talking, like the six or seven of us, it was completely split half and half. Who had the little trophy next to their name? Then it finished. So on my screen, uh, I think it was on David and Jacob's screen, it showed that I had won and it had the trophy next to my name. But on four other people's screens, it said that Eric had won and that he got the trophy. So it was, it was as photo finish as it comes and created a lot of confusion because Eric and I both were happy because we were like, yes, I got it ahead of Eric or Eric got ahead of me, but then it turned to chaos <laughs> as we tried to figure out who actually won it. Can we get a, a replay of, of the finish itself? Yes, I got you. So Danny sets himself up for the launch, and does Eric just run and jump, or does he also get hit? Does he get? He hit? gets hit as well. He gets Hold hit up, as let's, well. Let's let's slow mo it. Oh, here we go, slow mo. We're going back real slow. All right, we're gonna go right here. Because I'm pretty sure you can't jump that gap, so he had to have gotten hit. Yeah, I think you hit him in. I think wait, I got wait, hit look at into this. Eric. Look at, look at this. All right, watch closely. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I got hit into <laughs> Eric, and we both that crossed the line. Because that, that, that is insane. That was the part that confused me because I was like, "There's no shot Eric's gonna beat him," and then all of a sudden, you guys are like freaking tumbling, attached at the hip, <laughs> flying through the air. The, the action. I didn't even. Like, I didn't even notice that in the in the game. <laughs> and also, for further context, this was the uh, each round was a best of three. This was the second map. Um, and Danny was playing for his tournament life there. Um, and it, and, yeah, that, and it, that was for the, that was for the dub there. We needed that win to stay in. Yeah. It, it came down to that slim of margins. And I think That's the, crazy. I think the next clip is actually the, is, is the rematch between yes. Danny and Eric. Yep. Yeah. Um, this is, this is where Eric. And so this is with Colin and Shell already out. Just Danny v. Eric, 1v1 on the hoverboard. Danny playing for his tournament life. Run the clip, shall. <laughs> right there, I thought Eric died. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Dude, I thought he was dead there, too. I was so convinced, but then I forgot the hoverboard Hold on, was wait a just underneath him. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Look at that kill. Guys. Look at that's that kill. Funny. Look at that kill. <laughs> that was that was, that was incredible. It was absolutely electric in the chat. Austin and I were and so hard when it happened. Shell came sprinting into my room because he was in fact playing in my apartment. He was up in <laughs> was. All right, I'll give you guys a slow mo of this kill right here. Yes, please. <laughs> this is what we really need a slow mo on. Both going for the grab. You grab right there. It's oh, there we go. <laughs> it was the only way to settle it. One of us had to grab, kill the other one. But the timing of it was literally perfect. It was like as the hoverboard gap was closing, it was just like perfectly yeah. Eric sized. You hit him with the little ball and you just go straight down. It was, it was literally like Indiana Jones. Like coming under <laughs> the door closing with Indiana Jones slides under. It was poetry in motion. Slid in the crack. <laughs> And so that was that, that that was for Danny's life, um, which sent things to map three, which I believe was a crack in that was completely unmemorable. Uh, no, but but no, at, yeah. yeah. <laughs> afterwards, I don't we know what to, this interview clip is though. It's just you know Colin just being one of the, one of the greatest interviewers of his generation. If you just want to run it, I can give you a <laughs> breakdown of what's happening here. We were trying to pull okay. Eric into the booth, who went completely MIA. I, I um, can hear it, so I can give you a play by play too. Okay, yeah, if you want to speak for Colin, that'd be great. Yeah. I, I don't know, but it's not going to be the same, though, because it's not Colin, you know? And give us the full screen. 
I got you. There we go. So essentially, Colin's doing a self interview <laughs> with himself. Oh, what that is not both the names. <laughs> All right, I'll say both the names of Colin. All right. <laughs> so here he is going on a self interview. He saps to go to interviews. So who thinks my interview that. person isn't showing up? Let's just interview myself. <laughs> yeah. well, 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 my, my, my favorite part. Is that it is set up so there's like the bean, so he's 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 the interviewer, the bean is the interviewee. Colin <laughs> proceeds because he's interviewing himself to go to the side of his cam. Like he is <laughs> now, now on the other side, taking himself off the camera. <laughs> See, there he is, he's just his <laughs> and then he goes over to the others. <laughs> <laughs> As if the scene like operates like that. It just just God, that's le- that's legendary. <laughs> he said, he said, "Oh, Colin, I hope you had a good game, my guy. What did you think of it?" Oh, I it was great. <laughs> <laughs> an absolute best interview with Tyler in the business. <laughs> One of the best moments of the tournament. Oh yes, here we go. The so Rhino good. Cliffs begin. So I think this is round one of Garrett and David versus Jacob and Freddy. Yeah. What a Watch series. Jacob. Watch Jacob closely. Oh, okay. No, it's not that one. No, see right there, I thought Jacob died. I um, thought he died, but look, look, he's in the top right. He doesn't get punched. It was that he, close. It was, was like that. It was like a millisecond of a margin. And he didn't hit the water. Yeah, yeah. Pull, run, run, run that back shell because Freddy, Freddy gets knocked out like around like five seconds. Let's run, let's run the slow mo. <laughs> you don't want to do point two five for ten. Okay, we're doing it. Let's go. <laughs> Point Let's two see, five when does Freddy when is absolutely f- electric. Oh, yeah, look at this. William is, look at this play by play. You get everything here. He goes for the grab. <laughs> the, gets hit because of it. it. <laughs> no, look at the top right. You see the clock going. It hits zeros while he's in midair. Look, you see, you see Stable Axis is down. <laughs> you see him at the top right. Stable Axis is down, and there's Jaco. Still in the air. Free falling. Free fallen. But so that kept him alive for round two, which I believe is the next clip. So it's just Jacob by himself versus Gary yeah, and Eric. Here we go. Let's see. I think Garrett has Garrett got killed almost immediately, so this is just a one v oh no, he just got punted. <laughs> this is a one v one between David and Jacob. Oh my gosh, what a save! Hit into the bumpers. <laughs> They're just both getting mauled. <laughs> so there's three rhinos, three rhinos with two people is just absolutely chaotic. What? <laughs> this this whole time he's just getting bullied by the rhinos. <laughs> he's fighting for his life. I don't oh even think he God. moved the whole time. I think he was just getting tossed around. And I was Please he never tell me stood the up. second one's here. Please tell me the second one's here. And he never stood up. <laughs> An absolute legend, just holding on. And he's also, he's picking his nose here <laughs> at the end just to flex on us. Look at this. He's just picking his nose. I think that's his eyeball, but... <laughs> <laughs> he just picked his Please nose. Stop. He's flexing on him. Please tell me the second one's in here. That immensely clutch moment. Yes, forced, it is. Let's go. Forced the rhino replay, which some people weren't so happy about. They thought they'd had enough <laughs> rhino. There was a lot of rhino going on. A lot of rhino going around. I mean, the wheel, the wheel deal, the wheel dealt rhino <laughs> so much. Well, I'm confu- I gotta watch that again. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, I, I still don't know. And I would, that's me. I don't know. It's just, it's, 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 it's Freddie v. Garrett. Um, Jacob went out in the first yeah. round and then David gets knocked out right at the start here. <laughs> He's just rolling on the ground. <laughs> Gary is literally just rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it. Freddy got yeah, saved. He got saved, saved by the pad. Yeah, and, and Gary got absolutely launched in the sky. <laughs> and that forced a third rhino replay. <laughs> oh. So many rhino replays. <laughs> 
I don't yeah, even remember what I happened. Think, I think at this point, when we got to the third round of replay, we had three disconnects in a row. We had mm-hmm. we had Jacob disconnect, then Freddie, and then Freddie again. Yep. So the third round of replay took four lobbies to get to. Yeah, and that's around the time where the the mental of pretty much everyone involved was shot as we continuously reloaded and had the lobby die and then reloaded and had the lobby die. <laughs> um, and then proceeded to drop one of the most electric streams in history where we basically, I don't, <laughs> just, just, I don't even know what that was. For, Danny and Jacob were just talking about college lacrosse. Um, <laughs> oh, <all the> <laughs> well, everyone else was just mentally dead, yeah. <laughs> and, and just going down the Fall Guys line. I at that point, I was just mentally dead too, and I was like, "I'll t- I'll just talk about some nonsense." <laughs> I will say, I was happy when me and Danny won stuff, and I was like cheering. I was going off, and then toward the end, I was just just frustrated. I was like, "This is going poorly. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> like, I hate it here." <laughs> Yeah, it was rough. We still had we still had one viewer who was Eric's friend, and afterward, uh, yeah. er, 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 Eric was like, "My friend said she liked the stream," and I was like, "That's the most insulting thing anyone could have ever said to me." <laughs> was, that whole that whole thing was freaking garbage. But we we, so bad. we we tried our best, and we did. We the, the the moments when Fall Guys customs worked were electric. Like yeah. that, like the the Danny kill, like the Freddy Jacob Rhino clutches. It, it it was awesome, but those moments were way too few and far between uh, to to salvage remotely anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally agree. But we will probably not. I don't know unless we really rethink how we do Fall Guys. Probably won't be returning there, unfortunately, um, and are going to be taking that lesson back home to try and make sure that our next events aren't quite so I don't even know what the right word to describe that was like it 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 was it was, it was just rough. Um it was so hectic. Yeah. So we have some plans for some other things to do in the future, but we're kind of going to go back to the basics for our next event. The three games that we play the most um are Rocket League, Fortnite, and Overwatch. Anyone who saw the Lost VOD of the triathlon knows that. <laughs> <laughs> but the way it goes, <laughs> yeah, we are we are going to be doing one of those three. And we're going to be spinning in a, a wheel in just a little bit to decide that. Freddie, of those three, Fortnite, Rocket League, and Overwatch, which are, would you be most excited to play? Not Rocket League. Who's <laughs> <laughs> your least excited to play? <laughs> Honestly, wait. Give us a ranking. We oh. got your bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 100% Rocket League is at the bottom because we all know how good I am at that. Um, probably just Fortnite, Overwatch, Rocket League. Just depending on... One, two, three? Yeah. Respect. So what about you, Danny? Uh, probably, I mean, Overwatch is always a one for me. Uh, I think the custom games we have in Overwatch are, are so much fun. Uh, I mean, four v four just has a, a certain likeness to it that you don't really get many other places. None of that one v one tank, one v one uh dealer, and with the two DPS is an interesting way to play. But uh, second is probably Rocket League, and third would be Fortnite. I really enjoy all three. I enjoy paintball. But we have some some close games in Rocket League, I think, and those get really fun as we move on. What about you, Shell? How are you feeling about them? So for me, like for my bottom pick of Fortnite, that's my worst. That's my bottom pick. But that's because um, it's like you don't really get to use you cooperate as a team as much. It's like you kind of do, but it's not on the same level as like Overwatch or Rocket League, where you get to kind of cooperate and work together and like learn how each other plays the game. It's more just like, oh, kind of go out there and, you know, hope you do well and do well by yourself. And I'm also not a huge fan, or I'm not really good at the third-person shooting. It is weird to me. I can't get accurate with it. I can kind of, I don't know, I kind of hone in, but that's why that's the worst pick for me. And then I have to go second is Overwatch because I've got a couple 
like people I'm good at, but not really too many. But I do like, I do really enjoy Overwatch. Like I would be totally fine if we did any of these, but um, and Overwatch is great with when it comes to cooperation. But for me, it's Rocket League because uh, I don't know. I just feel like it's the most like electric of the three because there's so many things that can happen that are unexpected and are crazy. And you can go to overtime, have oh, it's just so fun and it's easy because easy to manage because we've done it before. And I know we'll do a great job if we run Rocket League. Yeah. I'll start, what are your three? Um, I'll start from the bottom, and I I, I don't I don't really know. I, I I'm excited for all three, and for any of them, we're gonna do not a tournament but a show match format. Um, and so if we were just doing another Rocket League tournament, I think I'd be kind of like a little bit less excited. But we we do something different with it. We'd find a way to make the custom games more fun and make 4v4 or whatever we do with it more fun. So I'm excited for that. Mm-hmm. But just since we've done that so much, that would probably be my bottom. Um, and then number two would, I guess, be Fortnite. And then e- even though I think that'd be awesome too, but number one, Overwatch. Like I think like what Danny, there's a lot of truth to what Danny was saying. Like when we play in-house Overwatch, that shit is so much fun. Like, um, in in the, in the try, in the triathlon, that was my favorite part, um, easily. And, um, so I, I think, I think running that back and finding like a cool gimmick or something, uh, and like making that our whole focus could be awesome. But I think no matter what the three of it is, we're going to take it and run with it and hopefully things will go smoothly and we can just, I don't know, make a kick-ass event. Yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I think, especially with Overwatch, we have very well matched teams usually mm-hmm. in, in the way we draw them out. Like those games are always close, always back and forth, which is a lot of fun. I still think we should draft though for teams if we get Overwatch. Yeah, well, we'll probably draft for no, no matter what it is. Um, and I would like yeah. to, and I and I already think I know who I want to propose as captains. <laughs> the gentleman. Oh, <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you thinking, Fred? Let's make the duel happen. The gentleman. The we gentleman make the duel. Jake, Jake and Hamilton. Hamilton. It has yeah, to be. The, the deadliest duo in Rocket League. <laughs> has to be. They're also like very balanced across pretty much all three games, so it's kind of... It's kind of they, they are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're very Jacob, much are. Jacob's DPS has gotten like a lot better recently. So. That's cool. Yeah, Kid was kind of popping the other weekend when we played. Okay. I'm excited to see that. Oh, he was, dude. He's all he's lethal on the wall for Rocket League now. It's it's impressive. Are we sure we want a wheel, or can we, or can we make an executive vote push through? We wheel. Always we do what wheel. The people want. Mm-hmm. We right, do what just try and, want. Don't you try and override the wheel, okay? I'm not trying the to override it. I just want to make sure. The authority. The, I know, but the thing is, we've been talking about Overwatch. And I thought we were going to push through an executive decision. I wasn't sure. Nah, uh, our fate is up to the wheel. All right. After talking about it, I would be kind of sad, but yeah. I, I do have a quick question for Shell about said wheel. Wheel don't lie. Yeah. Shell, do you know if uh, Dr. Indiana Wheel had anything to do with making this wheel? Oh, he did. He was, He's here. We Once we turn on the screen, I'll be, he'll be there. Yeah. He'll be right there, ready to go. All right, should I, should I cut to the screen? We're going yeah, to the yeah. screen. I do have a quick question for you. Is doc, did Dr. We- Indiana Wheel have a hand in making this wheel or discovering this wheel? Oh, he is. He's <laughs> back and better than ever, boys. We're back. We're back. Yes! We traveled. We came version. around the world. And we're Dr. Back Indiana right Wheel. Here. Dr. Right. Indiana Wheel, where have you been this last month? What have you been up to? So I've been doing some research on the first wheel ever invented. And so I went to the location of ancient Mesopotamia. And I was digging through the ruins, and I found a special wheel, one that we've never done before on any of the streams that we've had, even the previous ones that we were kind of testing stuff out on. Um, so I traveled all the way to Mesopotamia, and it, 5,000 years ago, this wheel was made, and it has multiple names. So it has, it has three names, but the names twice, which we've never done before. We've never done the same name twice. This is it's a whole new discovery. It a, is absolutely a wheel, the, a wheel of this magnitude is incomprehensible by by the untrained mind. I assume, right, Doctor Indiana Wheel? 
Oh, it is incomprehensible. And maybe now, I, ha- I have a quick follow up question. Uh, how deep in the Tigris and U- Tigris and Euphrates rivers did you have to go to find this wheel? I had my scuba gear on, and I was there with my with my kangaroo friend, who I um who took me all the way there, and actually was able to drop me off. I just jumped out of his pouch right into the water. The harrowing story, Doctor Indiana Wheel. Indiana Wheel. We are so glad you are back, and I think. I think I can, I think, oh wait, oh wait, I forgot, uh, Dr. Indiana Wheel, do you have a wheel fact for us? Because I'm sure we would love to hear another one of your amazing facts. Please enlighten us with, um, with more knowledge of wheels, please. All right. I want to know, I want to let you know about this other amazing discovery I had while I was out there and that we've created and been able to develop in a lab. So there's these type of wheels, they're omnidirectional wheels, which they're made like normal wheels, but uh-huh. they have wheels inside of them. It's like Inception. It's a wheel inside of a wheel. And wheel so that section? makes that makes wheels on wheels. So say you had a car with these wheels on them, that would make it able to move in all directions. It can move diagonally. It can move left, right, up, down. It can move in any type of direction. Car can it's move amazing. up. Yes. <laughs> Wheels make it fly? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what to think anymore, Dr. Indiana Wheel. Oh my god. <laughs> Hold up, guys, I got you. I'll pull up a video. My mind I is really, just, I can really show you the research blown, I've been doing. blown, Dr. Wheel. Can you pull oh up YouTube god. Kids, please? <laughs> 12 <laughs> office desk uh, accessories you've never heard of. Damn it. I saw, I saw the gondola this- sound, too. Oh yeah, look at yeah, these sh- things. I was gonna say Shell's been, you know, purchasing oh purchasing that new PC build, so he's got the desk set up <laughs> YouTube videos. I, I don't know who Shell is any I just Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh he, my gosh, what? He, he's doing three sixties, man. He's doing three sixties. <laughs> this is a sick look at on it. Oh my look god. At oh my moving. gosh, what? He can he's moonwalk. Moving. He's moving all directions. My word. That is Look quite the discovery. Guy. Look at this. Rest it's amazing. Peace, I can't believe Erland. this is real. Ellen. All right, we won't get into the science here, but that's how the wheel works. It's pretty yeah. dope. So, you can see it in person sometime. So I think we're just, we're ready to spin this wheel. I, uh, do the rest, of you, do we all want to say it together? All right, come on, guys. Get, count down. Three, two, one. One. Spin. Spin. Bad. Bad. Wheel. Wheel. I was early. I was late. <laughs> uh, was just late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, here we go, boys. What are we like? We got it. We what, got what, what if we remove it and it's the first one to get two spins? All right. Let's uh, let's let's see a what if. <laughs> yeah. What if? Run the what if. <laughs> Run the what if. <laughs> The what if? I swear if it's Rocket League again. <laughs> so, oh, come on, stay. Stay on Overwatch. It's Overwatch. <laughs> okay. No, this, 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 this is the one that really matters. Wheel it again, <laughs> Dr. Indiana Wheel. <laughs> or, is it, or, 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 or do we do the last one standing? Oh, we could do last one standing. But there's a, there's a high percent, there's a 50% chance we get Fortnite then. Wheel. Yeah, I like that it's the first one with two removed. You know, you gotta get okay. both pieces out of the wheel. Oh, first one removed. Okay, alright, yeah. I like that. In that wheel, <laughs> Dr. Indiana wheel. We run it, we run it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, last not, thing. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what, what, what if, the wheel what, does what, not lie, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. The wheel doesn't lie. The wheel does not lie. We should have known it would have had a bias towards Rocket, Rocket League. League. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> What what you know, what what if what if for the last one? What if? if the tournament's right, gonna be Rocket League, but what if? We run the what if, alright? <laughs> what what is it? What the what if if <laughs> Let's see if Overwatch gets last. <laughs> Cause then the wheel really doesn't want yeah, to. No, this is for the what what would be the final one? So it would be the final Whatever's the last season. one standing. <laughs> the wheel doesn't lie. It 
it, the it wheel doesn't, doesn't lie. It knows in anyway, our heart of heart what we don't what the want. Last one is. Spin it. <laughs> yeah, what what is the last one gonna be? I I don't know. <laughs> and there it is. All right. All right, guys. We're, we're out of wheels. The wheels. It's pretty. It's, it's it's pretty. Consumed. It's pretty fitting that the only thing that's left is the Rocket League logo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely this, fitting. This shit was scripted from the start. <laughs> I, I picked it because it was colorful, and mm-hmm. it made Wheel look pretty. Yeah. <laughs> the Wheel understood the assignment when you picked that logo. It knew what you yes. wanted. <laughs> and it was my 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 brother. It was my brother's choice, Shell. It was his choice. You're related to he, Shell? I didn't know that. Yeah, we're, we're twins. Hmm. You guys look nothing That's alike. That is yeah, true. Honestly, he looks nothing alike. Honestly, he's kind of a chump. So, yeah, I hate that guy. But well, in a wheel, thank you for gracing us with your presence again, and for bringing us such another fascinating discovery. Even if the wheel was biased all along, it's bullcrap. I got to get back to my research, guys. I'll catch you later. You slander those wheels. We they respect no all lies. you do, Doctor Indiana Wheel. Thank you so much. The wheels see the truth in your soul, Frederick. <laughs> Whoa, Shell! They're not. They're not you're, rigged. You're, Shell, you're back. Where did you go? Wait, what? We, we. I thought we were taking a break for a little bit. No, no, you're right. We were. We were. We took a little bit of a break. Right, fine. Yeah, we yeah, haven't okay. been doing anything. Yeah, not nothing at all. I got you. Right, so, I'm. I'm a little confused. How? Well, I don't want to like. So I think you might have split personality disorder. Um, what? <laughs> so are you certain that you did not shave your head and star in the movie Split? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you have a do you have a brother that you've never told us about? See, I think I think Danny caught me in 4K. I was definitely in the movie Split. Shell, are you secretly? I knew it. <laughs> are you James McAvoy? Ready? You guys need to stop asking questions. You're asking too many questions. I can't answer these. Um, my lawyers will get in contact. I, I can't <laughs> oh my god! Them, right? This there dude in his freaking suits on his, on his side. Has defeated me. They I all come served. full circle. <laughs> That's why we were on a break, guys. I've been served my subpoena, and I no, to, I you don't court. get Talk served a subpoena if you're suing. You serve a subpoena on someone else. But well, Austin sued him. Yeah, Austin sued him. Oh, okay. Well, I thought, well, you got a power. Now you got a counter suit, so you got to serve your subpoena. <laughs> oh, I will. Oh, I will. Put it the right time. Anyway, what all that means is that we will be doing a Rocket League show match on Ugh. slated for March 11th, most likely. Um, mm-hmm. Assuming that we can get the gentleman's duel, like, meaning both of them are available for the event. The, we will have Hamilton and Jacob draft. If not, we will do another sort of rivalry draft. But we'll be running some sort of custom game show match. You know, details we will we will iron out in the next couple weeks. But, you know, as Shell was saying, I think the one very positive thing about that is we have run a lot of Rocket League tournaments to the point where Freddy is very sick and tired of them. So hopefully uh, we can do this without any major hitches in the road. And so I'm very optimistic about that. I don't mind showing up. It's just. <laughs> I feel like we I do think, Rocket I League. I think you mind a little bit doing that. <laughs> <laughs> just, just maybe it is a little bit. the one bit. we've done the most of. That's all I'm saying. Freddy, Freddy, watch out. Watch out. I think I think there's a quarterback about to throw the football at your head, man. You gotta Where? Watch out. <laughs> he's, 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 he's ready to throw, man. You better watch out. The best part about that bit is on the podcast that is not in picture. Uh, Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Where? Yeah, he, he's not in there. In oh, his, you want me to podcast. share my screen? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I need to share your screen. And Danny has also slowly slumped further and further into bed to now it's just his head in frame. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Danny, is, what happened? What happened to the rest of your I, I, yeah. Absolutely chilling. I'm slowly, my, I'm just slowly <laughs> slipping downwards. In Are, my you bed Are you melting? Are you melting? The lack Dan? of lack of desk at at uh, Virginia House. 
No, it's not that. He's melting, guys. He's 100% melting. Never seen Danny's legs before. They're melted. That's true. When have Danny's I've, legs and Danny been in the same room? My legs are actually <laughs> so warm right now. So I've never seen it. Coming off my laptop for the past hour onto my legs. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not awesome. <laughs> I wish I had oh hot legs. <laughs> but, um... I think that that pretty much does it for episode two of, of NCP. You know, by our standards, that was an incredibly smooth and, and flawless production. Oh, yeah. Nothing <laughs> worse than what <laughs> wrong whatsoever. Um, anyone got any final thoughts, words of wisdom, English lessons uh, for the, before we log off? We're going to have week? to tune in next week for the next English we- lesson. I'm not... I'm not giving out two English le- lessons a week, okay? <laughs> that's 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 too much. I also yeah. I also think the listeners should come ready and prepared and have read the Art of War by Shun Tzu. Oh, <laughs> not bringing this into it again. You, you definitely need to read it for context for the next for the Rocket League tournament. That's all I'm saying. Oh, we're reading <laughs> it again. There will, there will be war. There will be um, if it's but, one thing in this group we talk about a lot. It's Rocket League tournaments and the the Art of War by Sun Tzu. <laughs> two, two, two sides of the same coin, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> I agree. But I do not believe there will be a podcast next week. Um, a lot of the boys will be getting together, and so we'll be hanging out IRL instead of online, which is always a breath of fresh air. But we will return on the 11th. With the tournament, uh, we will talk to David about potentially whether or not we will have a YouTube video on the big fail or not. Um, but other than that, get ready, get hyped for the tournament stream on the 11th at an unnamed time. Yep. Should be, it should be a good time. Yeah. I'm super excited. It's my number one choice. Freddie, you super excited? <laughs> yeah, we got a number one choice and a number three choice. <laughs> <laughs> and then number two choices. Yep. <laughs> He's hey, the wheel is so bad. I don't know why we're arguing about this anymore. Right? Look, the wheel I, I don't deny spoken. the wheel's authority. I That's, I don't yeah, ask questions great. from the wheel. It Colin, knows all. The wheel. <laughs> Col- Colin's hype for the Rocket League tourney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, He's the, only, the only one of those games that he plays. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that in uh, Hogwarts Mystery or Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Mystery. That's no, that's a game. Oh, I like that better. I want to play Hogwarts Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> but Freddie, would you like to close us down with just a statement about how excited you are about the Rocket League tournament? I can really only sum it up in one in one phrase. God damn it.